Right. No one in. Go in. Okay, family, this is all us. Only us. Only us. Only us. Only us. Right, so I'm the last. Uh, Uzman is the last person. So family. Oh yes, mass, mass. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, Uzman. Yes. You have the camera? Okay. Please, okay. please just uh, work it as best as you can. Uh, so family, that's one of the things we always make sure we do for your family. We document everything and share with you for free. Because that's how important this history and culture uh, is for us. Is this, like the, the, this kind of like the door no return? That, exactly. Yes. This is exactly door okay. no return. Okay, the creator right here behind you. Come on, get out of my face. I want to take a picture of you and every time. Jim, Jim, this is the creator. Where, where's your phone and all that stuff? You left everything? Okay, cool. Help yourself if you want to take anything. No, no. No, no. No, As you can see, we have a private tour and the door's locked. Because trust me, these white folks don't play. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they, it'd be like hundreds of them sometimes. And if you don't organize this stuff right, you know, could they just be flooding the gates just to see what happened their folks did to our folks? I mean, I don't see what else they could be want to really learn or do. But so we got this properly set up so it's just our group and we can focus on what we need to focus on. You know, sometimes you just gotta pay the cost for freedom. Mr. Koi, Eloa Koi, he's the uh, creator of the slave dungeon on Zoya Island. Welcome, Mr. Koi. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that we can hear him with the mask on. Sometimes it's. Uh, 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 we're all coronavirus free. Yeah, we're free. We're free. We're all coronavirus free. It's an obligation. You're supposed to have your uh, first mask. mask. Mm -hmm. Please. And after. After the uh, the tour, it's got an obligation. Booklet. Yes, your mask. We have That's a booklet mask. for sale Please. for those who mm -hmm. are interested. In talking about the history of the island. Uh, look at the colors, nice colors. That's what I'm talking about. Look at look at these colors of the spans. So, brothers and sisters, uh, welcome inside the famous House of Slaves of Gory Island. The House of Slaves have been built between 1780 and 1784. And that is why the former House of Slaves was one of the latest to be built on the island of Gori. Uh, because of the first they did from 1536, built by the Portuguese. The first Europeans to have set foot in Gori Island in 1444. During a very long time, this island was between rivalries of European nations battling to control the harbour. So the first Europeans to come to Gori Island were the Portuguese, and then the Dutch, and the French, and the British, and the French again. After the abolition of the slave trade by France in 1848, the colonization replaced slavery in the slave trade. And finally, the French stayed in Gore Island until 1960, date of the independence of Senegal. And during the full period of slavery in this very small house, 150 to 200 people, men, women, and children, living separately in different cells, according sex or age. But the duration of the stay for slaves usually was very long of because three months and more, since by the time they get only seen in boats as means of transportation. Usually, captives are left as slave houses with registration number, rarely with their African names. So that is why when they arrive in the plantations in America, they usually they took the names of the owner. So that's why usually black people in the US are Anglo Saxon names. Brazil, the Portuguese names, the Cuba, Spanish names, the Haiti or West Indies, and French names. And uh, since usually they separate men, women, and children, that is why inside 
One can see cells located on either left that correspond to the typical cell result for man. And this one in your back was the typical cell for man. So would you come closer? And inside this very small cell, and the cell is 2 meters 60 by 2 meters 60, 15 to 20 men. Usually they were sitting down all along the wall, back against the wall shackles in the neck and the arms. Uh, but they place them once a day just in order to permit them to go outside or release themselves. But uh, most of the time they live inside in so bad the sanitation conditions that the first plague of epidemic that ravaged the entire island of Korea in 1779 took place from houses like this. And also today, most of the houses surrounding the island of Gori were from slave houses. But during the slave trade, usually in slave houses, traders have had sex with virgin girls. But once a girl was pregnant, they freed her in Gori Island or in Sarwis. Sarwis, the former capital of Senegal, located on the northern part of the country. And that is why in 1815, after the Vienna Congress, when Gori and Sarwis was given back to France, many of the mulattoes became a French citizenship. So now, let's continue by outside. And now to go to the next. That uh, corresponds to the famous uh, one. We have a children. It was for kids from six years old until 17. Oh. But also a very small cell with a corridor leading to the bottom. And usually, children lay down on the floor like fishes on sardine boxes. But we have noticed that inside corresponds to the highest death rate. Also, what is particular in what is once inside is the windows. And the purpose of the windows was first to destroy the privacy, but secondly, to prevent escape. But today, we have to keep in mind that finally, a slave house is constituted a starting point of the destruction of the African family structure. Just of because the destination of the slaves was depending on the buyers. For example, father could be sent to Louisiana, mother to Brazil, children to Haiti. The separation was total. So when you go inside, watch your head and remind the step. So, okay. look at it, please. Go ahead. Watch your head, please. So chill. You talking about the age anymore? You talking about devils, man? Um, yeah. These people. From six to Everything is an investment to them. Yeah. I'm not for sure. I'm gonna tell a lie. <clears throat> so like family, the only word I can really attach to these people are devils. So if you hear me saying it, just if you're offended, just come here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Because, you know, we are speaking things based on documentation and, you know, you've seen the sign out, it said infant, so that's from basically six to like our brother mentioned 17 but that's that's what you're dealing with you're dealing with people who have no moral conscience about anything or anybody oh no this is the infant so this is where your daughter and my little son would be if they were kept you know they were kidnapped yeah it's serious that's why i tell folks white devils that is what we label these wicked ass folks so uh, let's uh, continue. Okay. Uh, please. People, people come out. Yes, come on, please. Serious. Monster is a nice word. 
I think I'm gonna do sleep again. But yeah, that's it, uh, monsters, wicked, evil, white devils. Yes, my brother, we're good. So the next one, then we're back. Jada, can you speak? Uh, correspond to the famous cell. Reserved for the young girls. Reserved particularly for virgins. Uh, just of because they separate women with young girls, but things come from the African custom. So that is why they reserve a specific list on the breasties for virgin girls. And also virgin girls were more privileged than the other slaves, because they were very expensive, and for example, they don't have to go outside for really themselves. That's why when can say this big pavement, we show the former place the reason for the toilet. And for that time, it was a kind of privilege. And also the bargaining was a kind of butter, but in terms of butter, the price of a child was something like a little mirror. And the price of a man was of 60 kg. Of because of 60 kg correspond to the minimum weight required for the man. So the price of a man was of 60 kg was exactly the same with the price of a virgin girl. It corresponds to a barrel of rum or wine, sometime a fire up. And the price of a woman was for time cheaper than the price of a man who's of 60 kg or a virgin. So the next uh, corresponds to the former cell reserved for temporarily and feet. Just uh, for men in the 60 kg, or because the 60 kg was the minimum weight required for a man. That is why for many of them without don't a 60 kg. Usually they put them inside this cell in order to feed them like uh, geese. And they fit them with a kind of beans, also called in Senegal, Nyepe, but after three months. And three months correspond to the duration of the stay for slaves. Usually, it corresponds to the time taken by boats so to come from Europe to here. If they don't reach a 60 kg, they didn't go to America. But they sold them in auction. And they stay locally as domestic slaves, particularly on this island or in San Luis. And under the stairs was where they put the remedial slaves up. And they use it as a punishment for slaves. No windows, just an island with bars. But the problem for the guards during that time was not to know exactly how many captives it was possible to put inside at the same time. It was just how to shut the door after the captive. Of because they consider captives, not as human beings, but as a simple mercenary. And also by this side correspond to the same because also reason for the revenue slaves. The big difference today is that we have two windows located on right or left. But something very new, just of because the two windows we have today, was from the abolition of the slave trade. It corresponds to 1848. Of because 1848 was a date when the French abolished the slave trade in France and in the French colonies. But also, as a reminder, for England, it was in 1807. For Tunisia, 1846, two years before France. And the last but not least is also this corridor with the door leading to the party. It is a door of the voyage without return, because when a slave has stepped out from this door, for the slave it seems, bye-bye, Africa. Of because after the door was a kind of wooden bridge. And usually, uh, captives use the wooden bridge just in order to catch a small canoes from the bridge of because of rocks to go to the big ships, which usually was far away. And also, that is why one can see two first corridors on the on right or left. But it is where they kept the slaves before the departure. And also, inside the two last corridors, for standing the guards. Of because they choose guards, more slaves. And once they go, they change them from the uncles, two by two. In the middle of the chain, between the two legs of the slaves, was attached a very big iron bow, around 10 kilograms, 300 grams. So that is why, when a slave attempts to escape by jumping, for example, he can go far away. Of because he died by diving. 
or beaten by the guards or eaten by the sharks due to the people who were sick or agonizing were thrown into the sea. The thing is in this very small island, just of because of the dimension. The dimension of the island is 900 meters long, for 300 meters large. But during the full period of slavery, it was quite more than 20 slave houses like this. And today many of them disappeared, but also many of them became private houses. This one belonged to the Senegalese state. So that's why we keep it as a place of memory and reconciliation. And in total, the slave trade finally lasted 300 years, from 1526 until 1848, during which 15 or 20 million of black people coming from all over the Western Coast that left the Western Coast to America, North America, Central America and South America, United States, Brazil, Cuba, Haiti, West Indies, and the Caribbean too. More than six million of them died because of deprivation or bad treatment, but we have noticed that the slave trade finally concerned only the best African ethnic groups of because selecting. But also, in all along the western coast, they put different places. That's why today, for example, one can talk about the Elmina Fort located in Ghana. And also the same thing was existed in Benin, particularly in all along the Wida coast. Also in Nigeria, like Lagos, Badagri, and Calabar. Also in Gambia, like James Island, included in Luangu, Congo, Kabinda, Angola, even in South Africa. But why Gori particularly? Just of because it's positioning. The island of Gori is closest towards the American coast. So that is why. Usually most of the boats are coming from different parts of the western coast. They usually come to this island. Not for embarking or disembarking slaves, specifically. It was just due to the location of the island. So that is why usually once in Gori, they take time to repair their boats or to look for food and water before shipping to America. And upstairs was with the four traders. But now the big question is, how those people in the slave trade could live upstairs with what's happening downstairs? And also talking about uh, uh, today, it is uh, quite impossible to talk only about the Atlantic slave trade organized by the Europeans from Africa to America without talking about uh, the Arab slave trade who took place in the eastern part of Africa from the 11th to the 15th century. But they chose as good harbor for slaves the island of Zanzibar. And they brought slaves from Zanzibar to island Mauritius, island of Reunion, Madagascar, Egypt, Asia, Arabia, including to India. And in addition concerning the Arab slave trade, I would like to mention the Trans-Saharian one that was from the 7th to the 19th century. But also, if in terms of period in history, the seventh corresponds to the French Middle Age. The African Middle Age corresponds to the 16th century. But also, it is a 16th century that corresponds to the beginning of the West African slave trade, organized by the Europeans from Africa to America. And surely, even will explain most of the things. But why particularly 16th century? Just because during the 16th century, Africans, as weapons, use only powers, not fire powers. So the Europeans came to the West African coast during the 60s with fire arms, alcohol, iron, and something like that. And they give to the African tribes living in all along the coast. So the consequences were the African tribal wars. Wars between different tribes, even to protect themselves. Wars are different, uh, between different uh, tribes uh, to get prisoners to achieve this fight. Uh, so because the only currency was accepted by Europeans uh, was uh, slaves. And also talking about the number of slaves, I told you first that the number was between 15 and 20 million, but we know now that talking about the number of slaves, we often compare the Chinese population and the African population during the 17th century. During that period, the two population were the same, but today, the Chinese population is twice the African population. And we know that the slave trade, it will explain that, knowing particularly that most of the things happened during the 16th century. And during the African tribal wars, many of African died. But also many of them became slaves after. That is why, if you now consider people who died during the tribal wars, and many of them who became slaves after, one can accept now a new very high number between 100 million. 
or 100 million and 50 of slaves. Mm. Were concerned directly or indirectly by the slave trade for four centuries. Of because the rate was for one slave had taken over ships to America, six or seven of the Africans died in Africa as victim direct or indirect of the slave trade for four centuries. But to finish, today the slave house is quite a new center of democracy and human rights. So that is why we are together in the necessity to keep it particularly for the coming generation, just in order to avoid definitely the repetition of the history. And it is finally a place where people coming from different parts of the world could come and celebrate together their reconciliation. Thank you for coming and for your stay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, all explained. So we are trying to do our best of because what we see, we are supposed to link this building just in the front of the slave house with a space of memorialization. It is in the project, so called the project of revitalization of the house of slaves. So we uh, have had a grant from the Fall Foundation of the United States. The total amount of the project will be one million eight hundred thousand dollars, and the Ford Foundation put uh, one million dollar, but the Senegalese state put eight hundred thousand dollars for three years. Mm -hmm. That is the last step, and uh, the work consists in the rehabilitation of the two buildings, included so the uh, construction of the new exhibitions. So that that is uh, the last step of the project, the construction of the exhibition. So. Okay. Um, what is important is uh, to know is uh, that the second building will be in a very new future, later than uh, uh, next uh, November, the International Center of uh, Interpretation and Documentation on Slavery and the Slave Trade, linked up to this House of Slaves, a place of memorialization. Thank you for coming in the very Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. So, okay, so, they, uh, so we have also this big robot.